Hi guys, so in this video we'll be talking about what happened to me in Guangzhou, everything that happened, so follow this video to the end. Guys, before we continue, let's appreciate how beautiful Guangzhou Airport is. Guys, that airport is so massive and very beautiful. I did a video, I did a tour, but I'll post it later.
this is me riding from the airport to the hotel guys banjo is beautiful like i feel like every arms of china is so very beautiful and the greeneries in china is massive i feel like china is one of the most greenest country under this earth like when i was in the taxi i was so blown away because of the fact that there is no noise i did not hear any form of noise as you're watching the video you do, no noise even the cars do not horn the cars don't have noise like engine noise i love it everything was so beautiful the first day i entered i'm like hmm.
Hi guys. Guys, how you all doing? Guys, I'm in Banjo. I'm in China. <laughs> Sorry for that. Guys, I'm in China and I cannot express how happy I am being in China. So I just arrived today being 17th and um, I have a lot to do tomorrow. I want to sleep now because I've been up since 15th of this month since day before yesterday i've been up trying to gather things and make sure that everything is ready for my traveling then i left nigeria early morning um, yesterday by 6 a.m and um my flight took off by 11 35 and we arrived at uh, doha by 10 35 then from doha we'll have a uh, three hour two hours layover two hours 35 minutes layover over from there we we'll bought another flight coming to china i document everything for you guys guys i have a lot to say but let me first eat because i guys i'm not starving i'm not hungry but i feel like i need to eat for energy first food i want to eat in china is this chicken feet because i love it so much i love chicken feet and it's not like common in nigeria so that is what i want to eat now let me eat and i'll see you guys later hi guys guys so i'm currently in china and i'm having difficulty changing money when i came back yesterday i changed only hundred dollars and i'm having big difficulty changing money so um, I have not even gotten to my final destination. I'm still somewhere in Ganju, but I'm supposed to go to Hanjo. So let's continue. I just want to do this intro. Guys, be sure to stick around because a lot happened in this particular part of the video, and that is the main point of this video. So guys, I'm looking for a bank to change my money so that I can go back to I can go to my final destination. Guys, Chinese people are very helpful. I cannot turn because I don't have to do that. Guys, as I was saying, people are so nice. I will say hello, but the language barrier here is bad. Like, it's high. I don't know how to put it. If it's, I will say, but using bad it may not be the right word. But, guys, language barrier here is serious. So, please, be sure you make every arrangement. Because I was thinking that I made a lot of money. But coming here, <laughs> I discovered that I did not make any arrangement. Because, tell me. How is it that I do not have any functioning app in China? This is me in one of the banks in Guangzhou trying to change my money. So a lot of banks I went to, I went to five banks and every bank I went to, all of them give their best. They did 
their best to see that i change the money they will input my information and try as much as possible you know that the money will be um granted like the approval will be granted by the government or the central bank of china something like that before they give me the money but because i do not have china card they did not um push through with it i was there till like 7 30 and one lady at the last bank i went to paid for my taxi because i do not have any other money paid for my taxi to my hotel and i contacted the agent that got me admission he paid for my taxi so that teacher paid for my taxi from the hotel to international airport where i changed money and also book a flight to hanjo so um i was there i slept there because my flight was for the morning i wanted to go in the night ball they said there is no flight available so i took um the money flight by 10. i used china airline i feel like that is the common airline they use around so this is me walking around the airport speaking with some chinese people uh, guys who were trying to sell something for me or um, yeah rent a taxi for me but guys <laughs> i was so very tired at this point like i was so confused Finally landed in Guangzhou on the 20th of September and guys when I drove out of the airport I feel so happy and thankful that this is the city I'll be studying like this city is so beautiful I don't know about you but I still feel like Hangzhou is a bit greener and finer than Guangzhou I don't know but like Guangzhou look like a, a bit more of old city while Hangzhou look like a um, new city so everything was so beautiful greeneries everywhere the road i god i feel like god thank god for giving me the city as um the city i'll be living for a while so i drove to my hotel first because before i came the school had closed for that day i drove to my hotel first no not on the 20th on the 19th this was on the 19th so i drove to my hotel and slept in the hotel um yeah for the day and went to the school 
on the 20th and did my registration. guys i'm still wearing this cloth i have been wearing this cloth for a while since on this 16th um but yeah i think um i have finally arrived at my final destination because yesterday was yesterday was stressful <laughs> yesterday was stressful but let's forget about that i'll tell you the whole story soon Guys, I love this hotel. I love this hotel. Every hotel I have been, to, like, slept in in China are all top notch. But I think this one is finer than the other one. They told me that they would give me windowless um room for um one seventeen yuan, but they finally gave me the one with window, and I love it. I love it and. <laughs> I will check out tomorrow. I'm not staying in a hotel because, guys, I don't have money. The money I have spent, the money I spent in local flight, is much. Local flight and um, like I spent the I paid the flight, two hundred and uh, two hundred and forty five forty seven dollars. Yes, from Hanjo from Guangzhou to Hanjo, I book it at night. I feel like. The reason why they took a lot of money from me was because I did not book by myself. I went online and checked. It is um seventy seven dollars. Then why why am I paying two hundred and uh, two hundred and forty seven dollars? That is ripping off. And I also pay a lot of money. I pay nearly hundred dollars for the extra luggage, guys. Okay, Michael. My countries. Huh? It's in my country's flag. So, we are at student registration. Sorry, let me show you for. See, a little. Well, guys, my country seems like the only African country. So. And there. Uh, it seems like I'm the only black person here. Every other person is white, Indian, South Asian, and uh, so today is 20, 28th of September. We are doing student registration. I'm supposed to be here yesterday, guys. I, <laughs> I'll tell you stories. Like <laughs> I have a lot of stories today. Coming to China, I have experienced a lot of things since i came so this is jinjin international study university um i think they have other um kind of studies but this is international study. can i can, is it is it my time should i or you're still eating it's okay uh should i come yeah all right thank you Okay, I don't see how I saw that one. I was thinking that is my school. Before Jackson said different. Yes, that is where he got I think that's where he got me uh, first admission. Is it around here? 
your phone no good, I don't feel like I've been now your phone gets caught already. Right? <laughs> what have the other guy caught, don't you? That guy. Now I didn't try it well. You did but try it, but well, you tried now. Please, guy, get what I like. Hold on. Take bike now, no problem. Hold on, please. 